Do you know how to square a binomial without using distributive property? This is what we're learning in today's lesson. To find the square of a binomial without using distributive property, you can find the product in three easy steps. Step 1, square the first term. Step 2, multiply the first and the second term, then double. And step 3, square the second term. Here are the five examples. Give it a try and play the video whenever you're ready for the solutions. Question number 1. 8x plus 3 to the second power. Step 1 is to square the first term, which is 8x times 8x, and that is 64x squared. Step 2. Multiply the first and the second, and then double. 8x times 3 is 24x. Double 24x. That gives you 48x. And lastly, you square the second term 3, and 3 squared is 9. So the answer for number 1 is 64x squared plus 48x plus 9. Question number 2. Step 1. Square the first term 5x. 5x times 5x is 25x squared. Step 2. Multiply the first and the second term, and then double. 5x times negative 7 is negative 35x. Double it, that's negative 70x. Step 3, square negative 7. And negative 7 times negative 7 is positive 49. So the answer for number 2 is 25x squared minus 70x plus 49. Question number 3. 3a minus 7 to the second power. Step 1 is square the first term, so 3a times 3a is 9a squared. Step 2, multiply the first and the second term, and then double. 3a times negative 7b is negative 21ab. Double that, we will have negative 42ab. Step 3, square the second term. Negative 7b times negative 7b is 49b squared. Question 4. 5x minus 8y to the second power. Step 1 is to square the first term, and 5x times 5x is 25x squared. Step 2. Multiply the first and second, and then double. 5x times negative 8y is negative 40xy. Doubling it, we will have negative 80xy. Step 3, square the second term. So we have negative 8y times negative 8y is plus 64y squared. So the answer for question 4 is 25x squared minus 80xy plus 64y squared. Question 5, 2x squared plus 3y to the second power. Step 1 is square the first term, and 2x squared times 2x squared is 4x to the fourth because you need to add the powers 2 and 2. Step 2, multiply the first and second, and then double. 2x squared times 3y is 6x squared y. Doubling that will give us 12x squared y. Step 3, Square the second term 3y, and 3y times 3y is 9y squared. So the answer for number 5 is 4x to the 4th plus 12x squared y plus 9y squared. Thank you for watching, and please consider subscribing to my channel at Celso Academy.